this is a very interesting question that's actually testing for the concept of modifiers. But it might be a little tricky to realize that it's actually testing for modifiers because the differences among these answer choices are quite subtle. And if we just try reading these options fully, each of these answer choices might actually sound okay to the test taker. So let's work with the differences and see exactly what's going on here. In A, we have that this company launched these series of initiatives trying to relieve the congestion. This trying to relieve is put as a present participle modifier. Now, the big mistake here is that there is no comma in front of the present participle modifier. So if this sentence was constructed in this fashion, that the company did something, comma, trying to relieve the congestion, this trying to relieve would have modified the whole clause and applied to the subject if this comma were present. But since this comma is not there, this trying to relieve is actually modifying the noun in front of it, the initiatives or the noun phrase, the series of initiatives. And this would mean that the initiatives are trying to relieve this congestion and that makes absolutely no sense. A goes off. Now in B, instead of this present participle modifier, we have a relative clause starting with the pronoun that. But once again, this logic fails because if it reads initiatives that try to relieve, it would once again mean that these initiatives are trying to relieve the congestion. B goes off. Now in the remaining answer choices, we can see that there is a split between to try to relieve and to try relieving. And we can actually work with that, but I'll get to that after I explain a difference at the beginning of these choices. You see, in C and E, this conjunction and is actually tying the network and the patients together. And with its network and the patients strained to the breaking point. So this strain to the breaking point is being used as a past participle modifier that's going to apply to both the network and the patients because the conjunction is tying them together. So both the network and the patients are strained to the breaking point. But in D, we have a small difference that this width is being introduced. So if we say that this strain past participle modifier would only apply to the patients of its customers. So with its network, and with the patient strained, the company launched initiatives. You will understand that this doesn't make sense if you try to split and read this construction. It makes logical sense to say that with the patients of its customers strained, the company launched initiatives. But would it make logical sense to say that with its network, the company launched initiatives? And this split that is caused by adding the width here is the exact reason why D goes off. Because we want this strain past participle modifier to apply to both the network and patients. So D is out. Now between C and E, the main difference here is to try to relieve and to try relieving. The to try is the two plus infinitive form and the to relieve is also the infinitive form. And here we have an infinitive form and the relieving in the gerund form, the ing form of a verb used as a noun. Now the to try is actually acting as an adverb that modifies the verb launched. The company launched these initiatives to do something. So that works. But between to relieve and relieving, it's a matter of a simple preference rule. GMAT will actually prefer this infinitive form to this ing noun form. So because of a simple preference rule, E goes off our right answer choices, C for Charlie. But do remember that this preference rule only works when there is absolutely nothing else wrong with the answer choice and you're down to picking between a verb form and a noun form.